half have been well above average and we've only had two road frosts in central London this season. Normally we'd have around nine and of course there's not been any snow yet. There may be some later tonight. More on that in just a moment. No such problems for the rest of today. Yes, it's cold but it's crisp and sunny across many central and southern parts of England and Wales. We could catch one or two wintry showers in North Wales later on this afternoon. Also, one or two showers will come down out of Scotland and move in towards northeast England. But you will notice it's cold out there. Temperatures just four or five degrees Celsius, and we've got a biting northerly wind blowing. That's a real feature of the weather throughout the rest of today, tonight and tomorrow, particularly down the eastern side of the United Kingdom. So things start to get really interesting later on this evening and overnight. It looks like that wind will pile in plenty of snow showers across Yorkshire and Lincolnshire during this evening, though spreading down through East Anglia overnight and eventually arriving in Kent and perhaps East Sussex. Now, there could be a covering of snow to lower levels, but over the high ground, there could be several centimetres of snow. Not only that, but in that wind, it is going to be drifting. Now, London itself, I think there could be a little bit of snow, but hopefully not enough to cause too much disruption because I think further east there will be some disruption as we head into tomorrow morning's rush hour not only because of the snow but also because it's going to turn icy a widespread frost across the United Kingdom and with those snow showers in eastern areas, I think it could turn quite treacherous with ice as temperatures drop as low as around minus one so there's bound to be a few problems, I think, first thing tomorrow morning. Possible delays because of the snow and the ice, particularly across Norfolk, Suffolk, Essex and Kent. So let's look at tomorrow's weather and many places will again be dry with plenty of sunshine but we continue to see those snow showers in eastern parts of England. There'll be some thicker cloud with some rain, sleet and snow moving down across northern Britain as the day goes on. It'll still be windy so it will still feel bitterly cold, a top temperature of around 4 or 5 degrees at best. And then things start to settle down a bit, really, as we head through the rest of the week. This high pressure really is going to get rather stuck to the west of the British Isles. It's rather in the wrong place, so there's always going to be a northerly wind. But I think things will start to get a little bit milder, particularly across more northern areas. Now, there will be weather fronts moving around that high pressure system from time to time. They'll bring with them more in the way of cloud and a little bit of patchy rain from time to time. So let me try and put just a little bit of detail on that. And on Tuesday, it's still cold in the southeast, so there still will be a few of those wintry showers. But for the rest of us, things start to change a little bit. There'll be more in the way of cloud. There'll be a little bit of patchy rain and sleet, particularly in some central areas. But you can see that the temperatures start to recover across northern areas around about six to nine degrees. Then by Wednesday, well, still a risk of some wintry showers down towards Kent. Elsewhere, those temperatures starting to recover, but always there'll be a lot of cloud. Best of any bright perhaps towards the